back to my channel it's Naela so I know I'm looking a little crazy right now but we're gonna glow up in this video so don't even worry um today we are doing a full get ready with me hair makeup and I don't know if I'm gonna do an outfit because I'm not really going nowhere so I'll probably just do my hair and makeup and throw like a little shirt on or something but yeah so this video is sponsored by Unice Hair and if you guys are interested in seeing how I'm going to do the wig and do the makeup, please keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested, please keep on watching. So you guys, this is the wig I got from Unice Hair. It is um, a 4x4 closure, if you guys can see. And it is 16 inches and it is it. So this is a 4x4 closure from Unice Hair. And the texture is straight and it is 16 inches so yeah I did wash it in condition so this is like its natural texture which is so pretty and I already bleached the knots so the knots look pretty good if you guys can see don't mind my nails but yeah I bleached the knots and it came pre-plucked but I just plucked a little bit so it could be a little more plucked so yeah it pr it's pretty good for a beginner wig so if you guys are interested in like something quick and easy, I do love closure wigs because they're just easy to put on, easy to install. You don't have to worry about a lot of lace, like frontals. I do like frontals sometimes, but for my head, it's kind of weird with frontals because I get like, I just have to practice more with frontals. So I do like closures. I'm a little, I'm a closure girl. But yeah, so this is the closure. It's a four by four, meaning the lace is four inches to like four inches wide and four inches deep so yeah so that is that and yeah it looks really pretty just in its natural state so I really like it but I'm going to cut this wig into a bob so you guys are going to see that too so I already did the ball cap method um it's not the greatest as you can see because excuse me because with closure wigs I feel like you don't really need the whole full ball cap what I usually do for closures is I just do the ball cap method and I would just cut it in like a circle so I would sew down like just a lace and just have my hair out on the side that's what I usually do but I didn't have time for all that so and I didn't feel like doing it so I just did a ball cap method it's kind of you know coming up on the sides but it doesn't matter because it's a closure wig so it's okay so we are going to install this with the bold hold if it focuses the bold hole liquid gold and I used this in my last wig video from I had that from you nice too wig install I do really like this like I said in that video it's good for like a temporary hold um I don't think it will last like a glue will probably last a week we can have two weeks but this probably this lasts me for a week honestly so you just probably have to touch up, you know, the areas. Like I said, I use this on a closure though, so it might work different for a frontal because, you know, frontal is full lace. So it might work a little different for a frontal, but I use this on a closure and it lasted about a week. So I really like this. Like I said, it's easy, no mess, just easy to install and I like it and it's quick. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Bold Hold Liquid Gold from the hair diagram. So, or Bold Hold. So yeah, we're gonna get started. Right now, I'm just gonna press out, I'm gonna show you guys, press out the hair from the closure. Just pushing it all back so when I lay it, no hair is in the area, in the lace area. So I'm just pushing it back right now, as you guys can see. And I accidentally, when I was plucking, put a little hole, if you guys can see, yep. So I gotta be careful with that. But it looks really good. Like, it came pre-plucked, but I plucked a little bit more. It looks really good. So, yep, I really like that. So, we're going to put this on my head. All right. It came with three clips, as always, but I always take them out because, honestly, I don't need them. And, you know, if you don't wear a wig cap, it just, it can, like, mess with your hair. So, and I usually have my hair braided down better. But I recently had like a 
slick back bun so it didn't work oh this is a little tight see this is what i'm talking about with closures like if the wind blows you could see that i don't like that so that's why i usually just have my hair out on the sides with closures because it's like no point so what i'm going to do is make the middle part as always and with four by four closures you can't really do nothing else unless you like move the whole wig to the side so if you are looking for something like to do a side part with i would suggest getting a bigger closure like a six by six i have a six by six or seven by seven or just get a whole frontal so yeah four by four closures five by five are mainly for middle parts because it's not a lot of closure it's not a lot of you know parting area anyway so and I did uh, over bleach the back a little bit, but we are gonna fix that, of course. So right now I am just parting the hair where I want my middle part. I miss having closures. Last time my wig was a T part wig and it was okay, but you can't really do that much with it. So I kind of like this a little better. For wigs, I definitely recommend using a wax stick and some type of hot comb, pressing comb, something to like get your hair flat because that really makes it look 10 times more natural is you having a wig flat. So this is a step I do not ever skip because I love having just flat wigs and it just looks way 10 times better. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to put some of the liquid Hold the bold hold like a golden one. And for this, you just use it just all in the area. And I think you use heat. This off real quick. Is cut these sides off on the side because you will be able to see that when you are laying your lace so okay so this is how it looks you just cut off that extra lace on the side okay so now i'm gonna put some free spray and I just put that all over the lace. You got me questioning the things that I believe. So I pass my so after I do that, I put on a headband. I would, I am going to get an elastic band because I feel like that will really help it lay more. But for now, this is what we got. So and this works for me. I'm just about to put some concealer or uh, foundation maybe actually and I use a little my little concealer brush and putting that in the part Myself, do I let you go do I keep you in the frame of my mind? also the hair is basically straightened for the most part I know I shouldn't probably have worn this robe so you guys can see like the length and stuff. But this is where it stops if you guys can tell on me. And then I'll show you the back. So this is where it stops on me. It's a good length if you want something like natural. But I don't want to do that. I want to cut it. So I'm going to do a bob, like probably up to here. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut it. Usually, I don't recommend doing it like this, but because I do have like barber um cutters razors i should say
so I'm done with the hair part honestly this is like a couple days later because I honestly didn't have enough time to film that day and I wanted to give it like a actual like good cut with um with barber clippers so I actually cut it you guys will see it better when I change my robe but I actually cut it like really good so Yep, I'm just hoping the lace turns out good because, like I said, I did over bleach it a little bit. And, yeah, so hopefully hopefully it turns out good. And it's not HD lace, which kind of sucks. Because um, HD lace just looks, you know, it looks more realistic. That's why they call it HD lace. So, yeah, it's not HD lace. So you really got to finesse the lace when it's not, especially for me, because it's hard to, like get a good color match with like my foundation and the lace and stuff like that so hopefully it's cooking up under here and it looks good but right now we are just going to do the makeup portion of this get ready with me and I'm going to do my eyebrows I do have a whole eyebrow tutorial routine on my channel so I will just fast forward this part or just skip over it if you guys want to check that out make sure to look at the cards at the top of the screen and go check out that video and I am gonna have like a little updated eyebrow thing cone coming soon anyway so yeah we're just gonna skip over that because it takes a while for me to do my eyebrows and to concentrate so we'll be back and we could do the rest of my face okay y'all so I did my eyebrows I still have to do you know when I take off my scarf, I will do the rest of them. So right now I'm about to prime my skin with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And this is my favorite. I love it so much. It just does my skin well and keeps my makeup on and doesn't move. And yeah, I like it. And I wanted to do, I want to do like an updated makeup haul. Like a makeup routine with new items I'm going to get. So... That'll be here in the future, but for now, we're just going to do my regular routine. Nothing new, you know. If you guys watch my makeup routines, it's the same thing. And I use the NARS... <laughs> the NARS foundation in Tahoe. Okay, Y'all, I'm just getting myself together. I haven't filmed, like, film, film. And I say film, film, like sit down filmed in like maybe a couple weeks so i'm getting back into the groove of things and you guys expect me to be consistent i'm getting back on my well i've never been like away from youtube but i just feel like i haven't been as consistent as i should be and i just want to grow more and stuff so i just have to be consistent like Stop being lazy, girl, because I am lazy. And I'm not even gonna lie, I am very lazy. And yeah, so stop being lazy. Get up, film videos. So that's what I'm gonna do. So in the next couple of weeks, I will be posting at least twice, but my goal is three times a week. But yeah, so like I was saying, I am gonna be posting two to three times a week in the next coming in the next coming weeks. So if you guys have anything you want to see from me, let me know now because I am in the process of planning content to make sure everything is just together. So yeah, just let me know if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below because I will be looking over the comments. But yeah, so just letting you guys know that I will have content coming in the next weeks. So I'm happy. And I might do a little life update because my life has been a little different, I should say. Should I make this a life update? I don't know. I didn't think about it. But maybe I should since I'm doing my makeup. But, okay. So, as you, well, you guys probably don't know. But I got a new job. I don't know if I told you guys where I worked before. But I'm not going to say. Just, you know, for privacy reasons. 
But yeah, I had an old job and I got a new job, but my new job does not start until July. So I was trying to, you know, stop my other job and, you know, just basically have them overlap. But my new job did not tell me like the correct starting date. So I told my old job basically uh, the date that I thought I was going to start my new job at, but I'm not really starting at that time. So I have like a honestly like three week kind of of me not working. So I feel like this time I can just use to film and really get a lot of good content out because yeah like I said I just want to be more consistent with my channel and I want to grow I feel like I've just been at a steady pace and yeah I just want to grow so I just feel like being consistent will help with that and it's just something you know I just want to do with my channel and I want to give you guys a lot of different content and I have I've had had a lot of ideas too and that helps you know being a content creator in general you know you just have to think of content like if people don't give you suggestions you have to think of something you have to be creative and stuff like that so I have been creating being creative and I've been looking at like oh what does my subscribers like what kind of videos do you guys like so I have been paying attention to that also I know you guys love hauls so I'm always give you a haul so but I want to do other things too vlogs are very popular but as I always say my life is not that interesting. I will vlog, of course, when I, like, do stuff. But if I'm just in the house, like, I'm sorry. Ain't nothing to vlog. <laughs> it's really not. So I really have to think of different videos and different kind of content to give you guys that's not, like, vlogs. I mean, like I said, I like doing vlogs. But if I'm not doing anything, I just feel like, you know, it's just no point of doing a vlog because it's just going to be boring and you know you guys aren't being going to be entertained so yeah so right now that's what i'm doing and i'm just getting a lot of content so like i said the next couple weeks you guys are going to get at the least two videos but at the most three a week and i'm putting that on myself like we're going to get that done period like it just makes sense i'm not working right now so do my other job I, f I consider this another job yeah like i was saying yeah so that's a little mini I life update um what else been going on yeah so and yep so like i said i will be more consistent and more just more into my content putting out good content i'm just not putting out anything Cause I don't even like just putting out anything because I just feel bad and I'm just not even interested in it myself. So if I'm not interested in it, I know you guys are not going to be interested in it. So I really have to, you know, just really focus and get on my groove of things. Because honestly, I love doing YouTube. It's very fun. And, you know, if you want to see any growth, you got to be serious about it. So I really need to be serious about it and get myself together. And yes, I still have these lashes on. If you guys seen my, did I do prepare with me? I don't remember, but my Miami vlog, these are the same lashes I had since Miami. My lash track is, my lash tech is bomb, period. Like these same lashes, like they have not fallen off. Like I kind of want them to because I have a video to do <sighs> pertaining lashes, but yeah. They have not fallen off, so I'm like, okay, period. But yeah, I need them to. <laughs> but, um, so I've used, sorry, I haven't been telling you all the products, but I used the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I used my, who's this by? I forgot who's this by. The letters came off. Um, I forgot. But yeah, I use that to contour. And like I said, I do have a whole tutorial on my channel if you guys want an in-depth tutorial. And I will be doing a new makeup kind of haul. So, um, let me take this off. Because I need to do the rest of my face. Uh, 
looks pretty good i think like i said i would say that i had to do like surgery on this wig because i like i said i over bleached it and then i just had to get it like the knots together and all that so but it's looking pretty good to be honest i just gotta fix up a few more things but yeah so let me do my eyebrows and i use the la girl concealer to conceal and do my eyebrows and stuff so so i do put a little bit of concealer above my eyelid just so it's all i love the bob it just bring it just gives me summertime vibes because first of all it's very hot in the summertime for a wig <laughs> that's what i've been saying anyway but the bob definitely is doing what needs to for it to be doing period and now I'm going to use my morphe bronzing powder it's in the shade mega star I love this I do need to get my makeup because I just want to try new things and I like like the beat face look I don't know if my face be looking beat to y'all but I just be liking it to look beat beat I forgot to put on my I got this new elf um putty blush but it's a liquid it's a liquid base so you have to put that on before you put on powder and I forgot that's what happens when you do your makeup in your filming but i just use my milani blush it's a powder base so yep that is that so this is pretty much the makeup y'all like i said very quick and easy and fast and beat and now i'm about to use my morphe setting spray i do this first then i put on my highlight And I've been using the Wet n Wild highlighter. It's okay. The color, color wise, it's okay. Um, it just, you know, it does what it needs to do. Period. See, it, it does what it needs to do. Like I said, I don't really like the color that much, but it does what it needs to do. Per. <laughs> And then for my eyebrows, I use the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Deep Brown. And I use that like for the beginning of my brows to make them just look thick. And to just get my hairs. And it makes your brows look a little more like realistic looking. And not just like pencil. And then I use the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And I use the brow side. Well, I use both sides. So I just use it for my brows to set my brow hairs in the back and this helps so you know your brows stay put all day they don't move and yeah this really changed my life just changed my whole brow game okay y'all so i'm back dressed and i'm about to do my lips so i use this nyx professional lip liner in the color nude truffle and i just use that when i'm doing like a nude lip or lip gloss it just blends the best for me, so, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I use this MAC Honey Love lipstick. And it's like a light pink-ish color. I'm going for like a pinky nude. And I put this other gloss from MAC over top. And this is in the shade See Through. And I can't even find this no more. I'm so sad. That's why I've been trying to use like every last drop of it. So, uh, yep. Yeah, y'all, so this is the full look. 
This is the full glam. I have this jumpsuit on from Pretty Little Thing. It was in a haul before, so make sure to just... I'll put in the cards because I have a lot of hauls from Pretty Little Thing, so you probably won't be able to find it. And I just put on this little necklace from Shein. And, yep, this is the bob from Unice. Well, it wasn't a bob. You guys seen it was, like, 16 inches. And I cut it. And it looks so good. It's definitely giving summer vibes. I love it. And I'm so glad I did the cut with the clippers. It just makes it look a little better. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm so glad it came together how it did. It, put a, it took a lot of effort, you know, with this hair to get it to look as good as it does but I'm happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this full get ready with me and yeah so I will be probably doing one in the future I like doing these with like the outfit let me show you guys the whole fit I'll probably take a picture or wear it out if I go out this weekend which I am so I'll probably wear it out and put a picture in put on my Instagram so make sure to follow me on Instagram and yeah, so this is the whole look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.